Hello and welcome to part 8 and in this part we're going to push back the Congolese and hold off the Algerians. I'm not going to worry about the Algerians that much because they don't have much supply, they're not a huge threat. But the Congolese are really pushing now and I'm slightly worried. They just seem to have spammed loads of infantry. And if they, if they push into our heartlands of Nigeria where we have most of our oil resources. It's going to get pretty messy. Most of our, half our population is in this area as well. Over half, maybe. Um, good news: if we lose our oil, we'll have consumer goods to rely on. But it's still incredibly worrying. So I'm going to pull out everyone from here. Move my air force down south. I'll just try and hold them off. I'll also garrison up this whole area as much as possible. I've taken the minister off garrison con control because he keeps putting garrisons in um, stupid places and then taking them away and it's been annoying. So I'm going to garrison this whole area, bring my troops down then come back. Okay, so we've started to build up um, our military around here, uh, utilising our air force to keep them at bay, increase garrisons in this area. I've also found out how to produce that unit we couldn't build before, which was the the Russian plane we bought. Um, turns out I had it on uh, like a game mode where you can't build outdated units, so you just have to tick a button and turn that off. Which I think is a bit of a gimpy feature, especially if you're playing a quite a poor nation. You need these older units to, um, to survive, really. But they're just relentless, these uh, light infantry. I uh, also bought, spent uh, 15 billion and got a very nice unit off the Russians and a technology with that. And that is the 100mm anti tank uh, gun, which is uh, quite a quite slow moving unit, but it's brutally effective. It's very modern. Uh, let's have a look. Probably the best unit we have. It's no good for taking on infantry. Well, not very good, but it's ridiculously good uh, by our for our standards for taking on um, APCs and things like that. So we won't be using it to attack cities, attack garrisons, and take them. But they'd be good for um, destroying light infantry because light infantry um, has like a hard outer shell, and that'll bust for it. Also, it only takes 14 days to make, so you can't complain at all. Damn, damn. Go on, keep building artillery. I'm going to send these units in here. If we can hold this, I'll be really happy. And I'm, micro I'm going to micromanage a lot because um, I don't trust my units not to just run in and get themselves killed. And these guys, these guys can re go repair before they hit the front. The new militia, you can stay up here. I want you two guys to... You can entrench here. Just hold that. But you two can... Hold this one. Try to hold it anyway. So look. Yep, still building this. Nearly finished that. I'll be really happy when that's done. So we can get a bit more money. And we'll start producing the MiG F uh, 17F. So I'll have some fighter bombers, which would be fantastic. Which are way better than the Queen Bees we were building before. Let's have a look at these, actually. Which one's better? Ah. The, uh, the the World War Two plane is actually a little bit better than the the Mig. I think we go with the Mig because it's got more ammunition and it can shoot further. So yeah, we'll go with that. Just build twenty of them. Okay. And this might be quite a long episode because I'm going to be doing my best to defend defend this area. So it'll be a lot of micromanaging. I'll need some artillery up there. 
go repair apart from my artillery that is needed there as quick as you can you go support oh I need the aircraft now right I'm gonna cut back in once we've um, destroyed a few more of their units and I'm just gonna try and fight them off okay the Congolese seem to be pushing us pretty hard the they've taken our town here I've started to build gun emplacements but they've taken that over might be able to finish it here oh, just, I'm curious to see if they actually work I've never really built them before the, the Algerians aren't doing anything up here and we're just trying to retake a few bits of land here and there look we've lost they want to utilize our towns to defend in God. It's very, very hard to keep them back. They're quite experienced now. Try and cut them off. Any air force available, please? Is there literally no one? No, I might take him out of reserves then. We need to start destroying the units because they can build. They've taken over loads of nations around here: the Angola, uh, Gambon, or Gabon, and a few of us. Uh, they're they're pretty strong. They've got at least four land fabrications. So if you can wipe out their units. Before they got a chance to escape. That'd be brilliant. Yes. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Then you get back into there. Ah damn. Okay, entrench. Where are our where are our anti air tank guns? Where are they gone? Have we not produced any yet? We must have. There we go. There's one here. I assume it goes up to there. Mostly militia. Yeah, here we go. A few anti tank guns. You guys can gather there, and whoever we have here can just mop up. These rebellious regions. I might have to create another defensive line by this river. Maybe here, because they'll have a hard time crossing that. I don't think they have amphibious units. Yeah, because the light infantry can't cross rivers. Do you build up there? I'll send some artillery and some anti tank units there. Yeah, I'll do one more run of them and then I'll build some more artillery. So on the long range attack. And that's where we've gone wrong. We've neglected to build a lot of artillery because we because it couldn't keep up. Got a bit too cocky and neglected the basics. Send out a sort of an unexperienced unit just to to mess with their supply. Bet they haven't defended that. They build a garrison there. Can you retake that as well? No, you can't. Okay, you boys get in here.
This is the new defensive village. And when I say entrench, I actually do mean entrench. Okay. And these guys will join them soon. Who are you? You're the, the anti tank. Okay, brilliant. They're finished with them. Oh, God. We need more air. We need more light infantry as well. If we're gonna retake some rebe rebellious areas. Luckily we've got this one bastion of hope here. Okay. so annoying. Okay, I'm going to come back when we're formed on this river if we can. Okay, so we've got a cannon plan and what we're going to do is hold them off here with this trenches and artillery and things like we've got here. I'm going to make this trench line to protect this area. We're going to lose that a bit probably, but anyway, the, we're going to send these units here into the Congo, hold a position that's easily defensible uh, with a lot of artillery and stuff like that. Um, put some of our, of our naval units there to defend it. Hold it as long as possible. Um, and create like a base in their country. So we're going to bring to the fight to them. Uh, from a good defensible position. That should take them off guard and leave them very vulnerable. Uh, we should also try and see some of their oil fields if we can. There's a few of them around here. So let's have a look somewhere we can defend along the coast. That's good, and that yeah, this 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 pretty good. Yeah, we go for this one. That's what I was looking at before. It's got oil next to it it's here, and it's got like a little river here, or a little yeah, I suppose, I suppose you call it a river. Uh, the, or the mouth of a river. Um, they shouldn't be able to get us with, unless they've got some units looking across the rivers but they don't have uh, their, their light infantry can't do that They're only their Chinese designed units can so the plan is send everybody and then we'll hold on as long as possible we can up, up north Also send these guys here to defend that. I'll just keep them around there. I won't send them right in yet. We can use them to help help take it as well. They can bombard from the shore. Actually, I'm going to start producing some land fabrications because naval units would be quite useful actually. Because most of the cities. Most of the major cities are on um, on the coast. It's just good practice to have a good navy. Now we've got a bit of money. Um, boom, boom, boom. Where is it? Come on, where is it? Naval production. Yeah, it takes 120 days to build there, so. And if we can establish a little base there, I might produce some land fabrications or build some land fabrications there so we can build some units in the Congo. Like maybe push out some militia. That'd be pretty funny, I think. And these guys will only hold out for so long.
Right, continue the mop up job. Oh, is that everyone? Oh, brilliant, that's everyone. Are these guys still holding on here? Oh, light infantry. Can you go and take this, please? Or prepare ourselves for the next war? No, you can't. All right. When's this finished? Very soon. Six days. Let's clear our pop-ups. Alright. If this naval invasion goes wrong, then we're in serious trouble because this is the core of our units. This is the very, very experience and um, <laughs> it takes a long time to build this. Oh, also off camera, I bought some units, a unit designed from the Russians, which is a BTR 60 PB, which is much better than the light infantry we've been producing before. As you can see, it's, uh, 15 soft attack, 15 hard attack, compared to uh, 10 soft attack and 8 hard attack. That gives us a big advantage against the Congolese, especially when they're using Chinese design units, which are a bit better than our basic infantry. Let's have a look at our research. Doing pretty decent. Production of aircraft. I can't wait till we get some of these MiGs finally finished. Because we can use them to keep our Rebel suppressed. I'm not going to send them against these guys because they got these guys got a very good, very good air force, or compared, you know, for by African standards, got a decent air force. Uh, but if we send them against our own rebels, we should be fine because they can't fight back very easily. It's a matter of time before these guys fall. We're going to go out with a bang, though, I think. Back in there, yeah, we did some serious damage to him. All right, you guys need it there. Come on, here we can take out one of the units on the way. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We have destroyed 293 units so far. Let's keep an eye on that. We should be able to destroy many more. Like the enemy's trying to escape. Send one off ships to stop them. Just a good ship for that. These guys are pretty good, dude. Decent. Come on. Hey, him, we've taken it. And now they're definitely going to try and take it back, but we're going to fortify this area. Everybody, stay there, please. Yeah, these guys, those guys are trying to leave. Stay, please. Going to entrench you there. And we're going to build... Garrison first. We want... An airfield. Barracks. Couple gun emplacements. Um, is there anything else we need? No. Uh, yeah. Put a supply depot. We use this as a base of operations. And if we, I'll start building a couple of land fabrications when we get the supply in this area. And this should start driving them mad. Look, we've taken their 
village here. Yeah, let's here they come. We need reinforcements. And these Chinese design units can cross there, but they're the only ones that can really do it. Alright. So more militia here. Because they will burst across this border of their experienced troops if we're not careful. Especially when these guys have finally fallen. Yep, here they come. Ooh, let's run these guys down. See, we're destroying their units. And even these guys are helping. Yeah, we should take massive casualties, and it's drawing away from drawing them away from here. Or I think it is anyway. Okay, how long till? Not long till our next back batch of um, BR BTRs. Oh, we need more troops there. Get this artillery here now. Come on, don't let him escape. Oh, the air force is here. There's our guys here. That's our one aircraft we have left. Doing his bit. You go home, mate. You've done your bit today. Okay, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back when we um we secure the area a bit more, or we've started up a second front. All right, so our plan's working pretty well. We've secured this area. Uh, they have very few units now compared to what they did have, so we're able to push them back, and we're retaking little bits here. Um, we're using our these units are very good actually. They they crush the enemy's light infantry, and even their, some some of their Chinese units. We took their capital. We've also finished producing the um, first of the MiGs, which is fantastic. And I think I'm going to actually produce some more or build some more aircraft fabrications. Five more of them. Well, I think it will hurt the economy. Yeah, but I think it's well worth it. Because eventually we're going to win this war. Shouldn't last. Should last a few episodes, but we will win it eventually. Even with just our air force, we can crush them up. Yeah. We have to make sure that we actually destroy the units instead of just damage them, dam damaging them, otherwise they'll just repair. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, press the bell.